Karen, thank you so much uh, for coming on the show. Your first cookbook was titled A Week in the Kitchen, which was then followed by Another Week in the Kitchen, uh, and that uh, was, of course, collectively sold, and you mean you sold over 30,000 copies. Let us know what you owe your success to. Well, I think my books are very accessible, and I think that as South Africans, we have found, we're beginning to find our identity with, with food, I think. And my books um, reach out to many people, and they're mostly vegetable-led, which is the way I think that we should be eating more. Um, and I think people have loved them because they're full of flavor, packed with flavor, and um, really delicious and really add value to what we're already cooking, but really add a new dimension um, to the food that we know and that we're familiar with. You say that your, uh, many of your dishes are vegetable based, but they're quite versatile. Just looking at your cookbooks, yeah. uh, bring us more into the kind of dishes, um, specific dishes that you, know, you, you spiced up, but you know, probably mm -hmm. gave vegetables um, to meat alternatives, and just how you yeah. made sure that your dishes would appeal to a, a wider range of people and with different taste buds. Yes, I'm. I'm very concerned with the, the um, the integrity of the vegetable. So I want people to be able to really taste the broccoli and really experience the cauliflower. And um, there's so many flavors that we we haven't even begun to really explore. And um, so in my new book, Set a Table, um, I really kind of want to emphasize. Um, that there are fabulous flavors to play with. For example, I do quite a lot with, with cauliflower, um, cauliflower steaks we talk about, because they are like a canvas that you can add flavors to. So we do one with taco spices and muhammara, which is like a Turkish paste, and we do um, a very delicious one with like an Indian spiced cauliflower with a coconut um, relish, delicious. Um, and, you know, when you're putting a meal together, you kind of have to be really conscious of the balance of things. So you want something green, so you want something with peas and beans and broccoli. And then you want something with color, things, lots of beetroot salads that I have and a few tomato-y things. And then you want, you know, a few comfort -y starch dishes. So there's bulgur wheat and rice and we do a very amazing jeweled rice, which is delicious. It has lots of kind of crispy onions and a little bit of orange and, um, yeah, very amazing things. So it, you, there's a whole little palette to play with. And I'm really wanting the vegetables to sing and to kind of bring out their character. Because when, when a dish has its, a strong character, it can play nicely with the other vegetables <laughs> and with any meat that you might want to add. And so what is so different um, about this book outside of the fact that you're really emphasizing um, the character of the vegetables and you continued, of course, to be yeah. versatile, um, comparing it with your two previous books, which were also hits, uh, what would you say perhaps stands out the most for you in this current edition? Yeah, well, I have a really strong conviction um, that it's at the table that we experience connection and it's the, at the table that we understand where we belong and it's the, at the table when we set a table in a way we're setting a space for conversation um, and for making memories that kind of keep, keep us together. Um, and so in effect the book is a recipe book with like great ideas for simple things that you can make. But really, it's a call to the table. So what I'm basically saying is make something simple and delicious, but gather the people, gather them round. And, you know, you don't have to make too many things. You can take one, make one or two fabulous dishes, like, a, uh, you know, a lovely aromatic lamb or um, um, a brisket, a slow slow cooked brisket and then one or two vegetable dishes but make something simple and delicious but gather the people um, around the table um, practice on your family first <laughs> and get really confident about what you're doing and then but the whole call is to to gather around the table
One of the first things that you notice about your book, Karen, is the absolutely stunning photography. I mean, well done oh, to your photographer. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. I mean, it, it really, some of these images are, are, are just so good and so world-class. Um, photography clearly played uh, a big role in the putting together of this book. Tell yes. us more about that. Yeah, so the wonderful photographer is Claire Gunn and Roxy Spears help us put the whole book together. Um, yes, the, the photographs, you know, in, in a way, it, it's quite an intimate book in that it's really sort of coming into my own home and into kind of gatherings of, of friends um, that I've done because I wanted people to really have that feeling of being at a table and being really present to what you're eating. Um, and so, yeah, if we wanted to get all the lovely flavors and textures, and um, I love where flavors sit beside each other and show each other off. And also in, in my home and in other environments, in my restaurants and so forth, I just wanted people to experience the lovely contrasts of color and sort of a little bit of my, myself, I suppose, which is like a little bit of vintage stuff and a little bit of contemporary stuff and sort of using things that might have, um, you know, been ignored or discarded and, and making them have a new life in the book. Um, so lots of lovely old um, um, crockery and cutlery to play with. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, but yes, the book is very beautiful. And um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very proud of what we've done. Karin, unfortunately, we are out of time. I would have loved to ask you what is so special about the way your husband prepares his eggs, but that's a conversation for another day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Slow and gentle, slow and gentle. <laughs> that's the secret. Thank you very much. And that is Karen Dudley. Her latest book is called Set a Table. It is a sumptuous book to encourage and instruct home entertainers on gatherings.